I remember like it was yesterday. I was five years old and very curious. I would go in my grandparents' backyard and dig up these worms and just stare at them. I had heard they regenerated if part of their body was cut off, and I always wondered why. Science has always been my favorite subject by far. I love getting to work in the lab, and I've learned that good research always begins with a great question. The beauty of being on this campus is that we can take specific tool sets, molecular biology, cell biology, engineering design, and we can help our students apply it to questions in the real world. And being perched right here on the Tennessee River, it gives us the opportunity to study those ecosystems in context. We then have this chance to prepare students to be genuinely useful to partners like the Tennessee Aquarium Conservation Institute. Well, I mean, essentially you're trying to add to something in the field to try to figure out a bigger question. And there are so many different steps in answering these even small questions. One of the emerging topics we're exploring is the issue of microplastic pollutions in aquatic environments. So early one morning, we launched a canoe, put on waders, and immersed into the wetlands, collecting samples to determine if microplastics were present in this freshwater source. Within a few minutes, I found several tiny pieces of colored plastics. It's kind of concerning, considering they're not supposed to be there. What I want for my students, what I see for them, I want them to use their creativity, use their academic prowess, and have the confidence to do so. Half of your success in science and anything in the world is being confident enough to try. Curiosity is important for discovery. Without curiosity, there is no need or desire to learn more. In the lab, we fail every day. And overcoming the fear of that failure is probably the best tool set I can give these kids. I'm a senior and I plan on pursuing my passions in college. A big part of research is contributing. I want to somehow, some way, contribute something meaningful that's going to matter.